What's up guys? So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to re be replacing these eight batteries on these Pokemon cartridges doing it as fast as possible with a stopwatch. Yeah, this is a soldering speed run. That's exactly what this is. However, I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently because I could totally just like watch this, like just check this out, like boom, I'm going to replace this one battery mad fast, but I'm going to do it the wrong way by just literally removing it and then replacing it with this one. And I'm fumbling and I could do this so much faster. Oh, it, and oh, I got to add more solder. I could still do this one really fast just this way by just removing the battery and then just putting it on. And watch this, watch this, 27, 28, 29, watch, boom, 30 seconds, 30 seconds for one. However, that's not how I change batteries on Pokemon games. And even though I could do this whole soldering speed run concept by just doing that and then get this done, like what, 30 times, do it in four minutes, I'm going to do it my way, which is a little different. And there's a lot more steps involved in my way. So... Real quick, let's just put this back to normal and then start over and I'm gonna do it my way as fast as humanly possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the whole screen down on the le bottom left and then the timer up on the bottom right so you can, because the big screen in the middle is gonna be edited. However, it's not edited other than me just zooming in on, you know what I'm saying? You feel me, you get it, you see the screen, you understand. So let's just remove these eight batteries I'm going as fast as possible, boom, just slide it out the way, just boom, just get it out the way, and then just on to the next one. And I'm using the knife tip, the big tip, to do this, because that's the, my tip of choice in a lot of applications. Uh, and this one, this was my tip of choice, and my trusty, trusty tweezers, man. Just wouldn't be possible without them tweezers. So it's good because the knife tip heats it all up, and you can just pull it off with the tweezers. And so instead of just replacing the battery and just putting a brand new battery on, once I get, oh, so I'm at six. All right, so here we are. This is seven, seven batteries removed. All right, seven batteries removed. Where are we at? Eight batteries removed. How long? How long? How long? Can we do it in a minute? Nope. Nope. Minute two. All right, so all eight batteries are removed. So the next thing is I'm going to add flux and then I'm going to use solder wick to remove the old solder. But you know what? Because this is a speed run. Solderwick just isn't cutting it, man. Solderwick's not cutting it. That's taking forever. That's taking forever. We can't do that. This is a speed run. So we're going to use the solder sucker. And we're just going to, boom, use that to remove all the solder on these eight as fast as possible. You, you with me? One, one minute, 30 seconds in. We're a minute, 30 seconds in. We got three. Three with the solder removed. Four with the solder removed almost. So... Instead of just, you know, replacing the battery with the old, you know, 25-year-old solder, we're going to remove all of the old solder so that when we apply new solder, it'll be a fresh, really good, nice connection. Uh, instead of using, you know, the old solder, which I'm sure still would have worked and would have been fine, but like, oh, 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 stop spinning, man. Oh, we got drip solder on the board and it's spinning out of control. Ugh. The end. The intensity of, of these Pokemon games, man, doing it as fast as possible, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, so I believe, I believe this is the last one where we're removing it with the solder sucker. This is our last one. What step is next? What step's next after replacing it? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to add flux, and then the solder sucker didn't fully remove all of the solder. It just removed a mass majority of it. So we're going to go back again, and we're going to fully remove all of it with solder wick. The solder wick didn't work that for the speed in the beginning because there was, you know, too much solder on it. So it had so much for the wick to absorb. So we're just going to do it with solder wick after we removed it with the... Um, solder sucker because we really want to get all of that solder off and I'm a, I applied flux in between each time so this is just basically like a regular video of mine but there's a stopwatch to add the intensity element of it right I don't know so here we go we got all of those solder removed and we added 
we added flux before we removed the solder with the wick because the when uh, whenever you're removing solder with wick I always find adding a little bit of flux dramatically dramatically helps out to remove that solder because it makes the solder stick to the wick better and transfer to the wick so here we go here we go we got one more all right all right we're at 345 and we got one more to remove with the wick we got one more to remove with the wick this is our last one this is our last one to remove with solder wick man here we go. Four minutes in, man. I could have done this so much faster if I just did it the initial way, but that wouldn't have been the right way. So, I mean, it would have been fine, but I wanted to do it my way, which I don't even know if it's the right way. It's just my way. This is the way I like to do it. So, here we go. Next step. Four minutes. We got all the solder removed. Now we're cleaning it all up to get rid of all of the flux residue that we put on there and all of the uh you know just clean it up got to make it fresh because we want it a nice clean surface using 91 or 99 percent alcohol and some q-tips right now Ooh, little bits of solder gotta 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 dust those off all right all right so we're cleaning these pretty quickly we're getting them clean pretty quickly looks like it could have done a little bit better job removing the solder but hey man this is a speed run so all right, we got them all cleaned up. Yeah, that one could have used a little bit more removing of the solder. But all right, all right. So here we go. It's battery time. Now we're about to put the batteries in. Where are we at? All right, five minutes, seven seconds. Now we're adding flux to both points, adding our battery. Let's see how fast I could just at least solder eight batteries on. That would be the... Let's at least see that. All right, here we go. Oh, it's... Oh, it's, it's moving a little bit. It's moving. Oh, it's wiggling. It's wiggling. Pokemon Red's giving me trouble, man. Oh, no. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. We'll do that one last. All right, so here we go. I got to make sure I get my flux on there. And then just tin the pad. Slide it in place. Ooh, yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Yellow, you know, going a little bit easier for me. Here we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. All right, but we're at six minutes, and I only got two done. That's that's pretty slow. It's pretty slow for a soldering speed run. Oh, Pokemon Yellow giving me trouble. I had to reflow it. No. All right, all right, here we go. I don't even know what Pokemon this is because I never played past red or blue. I'm a first-gen only kind of guy, man. All right, here we go. Super zoomed in. Super zoomed in. A little too zoomed in, but whatever. You can still see that it flowed really nice. And we're just going to boom. Get that battery in. Six minutes, 32 seconds. We got five more batteries left. Just sliding them in. I'm really going as fast as I can with this. But I feel like if I did this again, I could go twice as fast. Um, and I feel that's like a common trend in all of like what I say in my videos is basically without saying it but the more you do something the better you get at it Ooh, oh 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 look off centered it's off centered it's not perfectly in the little circle i should probably redo that one but whatever it's a speed run we're going to the next one we're going to the next one adding the flux Ooh, this looks like a nice flow Ooh, i got it i got it lined up real good i got it lined up in that little circle real good yep here we go. It's not wiggling. This Pokemon yells, doing me all right. All right, there we go. Got to clean my iron using the sponge. Oh, fumbling with the fumbling with the batteries, man. It's okay. It's okay. This looks like Pokemon Gold because of the gold cartridge shell. I don't know if that's second gen, third gen. I still got my original red save file from way back when. On my on my original. Oh nope. Nope, had to reflow the first point. Get it perfect in that circle, man. All right, here we go. We're at eight minutes. This is taking so long. Eight minutes. This is eight Pokemon games. That's a minute per. That's so bad. I could do it so much faster if I just did it the wrong way. Not the wrong way, but just not my way. I don't know if this would have been a more interesting video if I was able to do it super, super quickly. Or do it super quickly and do it my way which is in my opinion just a little bit more thorough 
you can say it's unnecessarily thorough or you can say it's whatever but it's my way man I just wanted to do it my way and as fast as possible but I feel like if I did it the first way where I did the first one like 30 seconds if I just kept that up this this video would have been over oh 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 that one's not lined up perfectly gotta reflow it and smudge it back in gotta gotta recenter it there we go they get a really nice flow it's all about getting the really nice flow of the solder joints not having any uh too much heat could make it not flow good not enough heat could make it not flow good you gotta get the nice flow gotta get the nice melt and that was our eighth but we're still not done we're still not done because now we gotta clean up all the flux residue and a little bit of that rosin residue from the rosin core solder. Oh, so we're gonna hit it with the alcohol and the Q-tips. So we're gonna try to do it as fast as possible because the clock's ticking out. This is the end. This is almost the end. Oh, I didn't get that one clean enough. Gotta, gotta clean it. Gotta clean it up. Oh my God, can we do this in under 10 minutes? 10 minutes for eight batteries. Oh, I feel like I could have did it so much faster. Boom. Oh, where'd that Pokemon yellow come from? I thought I saw eight. Oh, all right. Now, boom. 9.57. 9.57. We replaced eight Pokemon batteries in 10 minutes. My way, which I feel is a little bit more of a thorough way, which I enjoy, and it makes me, it makes me feel confident when I do it that way. So, boom. So... I hope you guys, if you guys like this, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me, uh, feel free, go go in, check out all of my other videos. I got a ton of videos just like this, all sorts of different modding, soldering stuff. Thank you for everybody who follows me on social media and talks in Discord. And like, thank you to all of you guys for everything that you do. And thank you for.